Hello YouTube, I'm back. It's been a full year since I've done this vlog thing. I got a list of questions from someone through my Instagram, how I did this double major thing, how the heck am I going through it, what were the steps I took. So I'm gonna be answering these questions throughout the video. Grab your drink, grab a snack. I left my cup inside, whatever. Grab your drink, grab your coffee, grab your snack, your popcorn, cause we're gonna be here a little bit while. But yeah, let's let's get to it. Let's go. From your experience of both majors, is it better to go straight into college with both majors declared or start with one and work the other in? I think it's a good idea that you go in as undecided if you're not really sure how you wanna do the double majors in bio and film. Take the courses you wanna take. So that way you have no pressure in, oh, I'm missing like this course or I really need to pass this class. And I didn't want to decide on anything for sure before I actually took some of the courses at Penn State. So I went in as DUS or Division of Undergraduate Studies, which is basically undecided at Penn State. And I started taking the really hard weed out classes for bio because I knew I was definitely gonna do bio. And then I took my general ed course in film, I took my first film course at the downtown state theater and we would basically watch a movie Tuesdays and then discuss it Thursday. That was the course that made me realize that I definitely wanted to keep learning about film and all the other aspects of the film major. Was it difficult to manage both majors? Any jobs you might have had at the time and a social life? It was and still is very hard to keep both majors because they require a lot of outside work. Like for film, I'm doing a lot of projects outside of class. And for bio, there's no way I can miss a class and totally understand what's going on for the exams and the quizzes and everything. And bio is also a lot of studying outside because they expect you to know a couple of things before you get into class, which sucks, but it depends on the class, depends on the professor you have. And in terms of having a social life, I definitely needed one to keep my sanity in place. I need to go out, I need to de-stress with my friends. Fridays are typically the go party, forget about work day. I didn't do any like work at a Starbucks or work at the hub or work as a TA because already with the bio and film major, that was just a lot of stuff that I had to do outside of class. So I didn't have a lot of free time for that, but I did join a lot of clubs, PRSA, TEDx PSU. I did an internship with Braithwaite Lab. I was basically just working in the lab, taking care of the zebrafish at the moment, helping with the experiments, even made a documentary about it. I also did THON freshman year and then with, from my experience from THON freshman year, I brought that to the PRSA and kind of like expanded the THON family towards more Latinos. And like this year, we just had a ton, a lot of fun with VSO, the Venezuelan Student Organization, and MASA, the Mexican club at Penn State. I really hope that we do continue this, but I'm getting out of line, I'm getting out of the story, getting the next question. I know that no matter what, I will keep a biology major, but do you know the difference between a film major and a film minor, if that's possible, in terms of expertise, internships, and job outcomes? When I was a sophomore, I was looking at the film minor, but the film minor is more of a film studies, like you're learning about the techniques, all the things the directors, the crew has to do for the film, all the different styles of film, across the world, like all those different things, which are cool, they're nice, they're neat, but you are not making your own films as in the film major. And that's why I decided to go with the film major because I wanted to know the technical stuff, all the things that I have to do, get ready, the equipment, the people that I have to work with when I'm making a film. I thought that was a better route for me. If you don't think that's your way or you just want to you just want to learn a bit more but you don't see yourself handling the camera microphone production sheets all that stuff then you can definitely do the minor there's nothing wrong with the minor but if you want internships 
in the entertainment industry, there's no way they're gonna get you with the minor. You have to get the major. Companies are gonna take you more seriously with the major. When I went out to networking events and I was just undecided, they didn't know what to do with me. If I said I wanted to work in some video aspect of their company and help them with their social media, at the moment I had no experience with any clubs, no major declared. They didn't see that as a viable candidate. And that's the same thing with jobs. If you do want to try the entertainment industry, you should just go for the major. Definitely keep the bio major. I made a deal with my mom to keep it and I do not regret it because I do have a science side to my, my whole personality. I do like to break things down and research and research up. A lot of people in film have done like film and philosophy, film and psychology, law, engineering. It depends, you make the combo with film. I decided to go where no student has gone and do a combo with bio. What was your journey to your internships? I literally did one internship for bio and another for film. My bio one was 2018 NYU Neuroscience Lab. I wanted to work in a neuroscience lab and I did not know what that meant or what that entailed and all the stuff and all the things that I had not learned in my bio classes about neuroscience. I mean, I got to work with rats, which I always wanted to do. That was, that was fun, you know, cleaning up poop for the rats, learning how to write an actual paper for neuroscience research. I knew I did not want to do that. I mean, I learned that I didn't want to get be stuck in the lab the entire day. I wanted to go outside, be filming stuff. I wanted to be learning other stuff, not just one thing that in the end, someone could be doing the same experiment you're doing or learning about the same brain area and then their work gets published before yours. So I just didn't like that whole aspect of it. You could find nothing, you could find something, but it could be wrong because nothing is 100% and I just got really frustrated, I don't know. But 2019, I had my first internship in the entertainment industry. I got blown away with all the experience I got with Showtime and with Smithsonian Channel. I also did a little cute blog about that. T. Howard prepared me super well for that internship. If you're a diverse student, you wanna expand your entertainment network, definitely apply for T. Howard for future internships in the entertainment industry. I had zero to none negative experiences working with my coworkers. My, my bosses, they were two amazing women who one of them also did biology when she was studying in college. And I was like, oh, I'm not the only one. That was cool. I got to do my own work, present it, present my ideas to basically all of Showtime the heads of Showtime, the president of Smithsonian, and they liked it. So knowing that I did something that I worked hard, I liked the process, and they also liked it, I was like, this, I like this. I like this feeling, this is good. The people at Showtime were super cool. I would do it again, hire me. When I ended my internship at NYU 2018, immediately, immediately driving, my mom's driving me from the airport to my house. I was like, mom, I'm not doing this again. I'm not working in a lab ever again. I wanna try the, en the entertainment industry. And if, if I hate it, I won't try it again. But uh, you know, I'm gonna try it because I've been dying to try it. And I did. One of the reasons I got that internship at Smithsonian was because of my work at the zebrafish lab because I did a small documentary about fish and I shot it, I edited it, I talked to the my lab manager, Victoria Braithwaite. She loved it, my future mentors loved it. If you don't have an internship and you do want to get some experience and you need to build that portfolio, just start your project. Get your camera, rent a camera, you can rent a camera at Penn State too and just do it and finish it because I took a year to finish that project and then I actually got that experience, that awesome experience at New York. So, yes. What was your overall journey like? It's not done, but so far it's been great. I've had to pinch myself a lot of times because I can't believe I'm doing this, that no one has done it at Penn State. The support I've been getting from my friends and family, and Berla, there have been times that I wanted to just quit the bio major or stop the film maybe for a second, but the idea of doing something 
where no one has gone before kind of feels like I'm going to the moon. And I might crash, not have any oxygen when I get there, but if no one's done it, there's a reason why, and it's because it's so hard. But if you think you're crazy enough and creative enough and organized enough to do it, do it because you're gonna regret not doing something because you're scared and we've all been there. I think the most aha moment for me was when I was finishing my sophomore year, went to my the Dean of Biology, Eberly College of Science, and I was like, I wanna declare my major in bio and in film. And she's like, that's so interesting. And what are you gonna do with that? Like, we shall see. I have no idea. I have no idea. But like, when I declared it, the biggest weight of my shoulders was lifted. And this is gonna be great, cause like, that's freaking history right there. And who doesn't wanna be a part of history, eh. Ah! Me asustaste! Estoy grabando! Pa' mi vlog. You scared me. Estaba having a moment. Quieres seguir viéndome? Is that it? Okay. Good luck. Wish me luck. I'm almost done with this. Thank you, Penn State. Thank you, friends and fam. See you later, man. Ah! Set them water.